left you left West Ham. Yep. And then um I mean I think when, when you become most like ingrained in my mind was those Wigan Athletic days really. Yeah, you're Would right. Would you think yeah. where really that was where you made that's where you made your name for yourself? I never played for a big like don't get me wrong, I played in a Premier League, but I never played for a, like a top six club. I never played for a mm. huge club. So winning like a lot never happened to me. You yeah. know, you speak to like the John Terry's, the Rios of the world, they're yeah. all about winning, right? But you've got the other half of the Premier League that get drummed every yeah. week. Like, yeah, yeah, of course. Some pretty got average, lose. right? Yeah. Someone's got to lose, yeah. right? You draw a lot or whatever, yeah. right? I was, you know, I, I was in two relegation battles with two different teams, you know, I've been around it. So it was like, my thing was entertainment. Yeah. My grab, like, we was going to Old Trafford, let's, you know, you come on. Every, and by the way, I've never met a sportsman who don't want to win. Right. Yeah. We all want to win. Yeah, of course. But entertainment was a huge part of me. Like, once I started to develop 26, 27 at Wigan, I was like, yeah, and we started winning at Wigan. We did win the first division championship and got in the Premier League. But once you're in the Premier League, you can't, like, what, we're going to Wigan going like to win the Prem? Like, no, it's staying yeah. up. It's yeah. about staying up. And it was big about, about entertainment for me. So that's when I started, like, playing with a shield if you will. I talk about it quite a bit like I had a bit of a mask and a bit like I had this character I started getting a good close rapport with the fans and people behind and pundits and you know Soccer AM yeah. and showed my clips and I joked with a ref and I'd pull a player's pull pants, pants down up. and yeah. pull my <laughs> pants up and I'd drive over bundles and I'd start having tear ups with Duncan Ferguson yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like all this shit was like Part of my character, hang on, this is our like, this is what I enjoy doing. And it also was a mask of me, I play better. Yeah, of course. Because it's sort of, and confidence, yeah. but it lightened the mood. It lightened, like this Premier League thing with, for me, I don't know about you, but when I was at school, my biggest shout was, I want to play in the Prem. That's yeah. all the kids you say, I'll play in the Prem one day. That's the big shout. Mm. I fucking got there. Yeah. Now it's like what now? Shit, what now? Yeah. Uh, uh don't panic. Uh fuck, I'm playing against Drogba. Oh fuck. Yeah. Like it could easily be <laughs> that. So I just dropped all that shit and went, right, I'm the Joker. Here we go. And I yeah. just started fucking about. Yeah. And came after game, it was working. I just went on the ride. Yeah. And all my career I've become this sort of like entertainer if you want and sort of had a good rapport with the fans. So that was me in, in sort of like in a bundle. Do you think really. it's intimidating for the other team to see you just fucking about? Do you, I don't know about intimidating, but some people couldn't work me out. Yeah. Like, I'd see yeah. it in the tunnel. Confused. You're just confused to <laughs> fuck. I'd be like the old Traf Trafford Tunnel and you've got Rio and Skulls here. Hey, boys, what's happening? Are we having it a day or what? They're all going, who's this fruitcake? Yeah, 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 you're not ready, are you? <laughs> don't think so. Anyway, let's go. Like, We've got this lot, boys. <laughs> We've got this yeah. lot. Yeah. This lot don't know where, what's going to happen. Let's hammer them. 4-0 later, like that. Yeah. Oh, not really, boys. <laughs> just yeah, come out of random shit. Um, so I had that in abundance, like... It's like having one of the fans on the pitch. That's you know what, what I mean? I, that's exactly what I call myself. I was a fan that it happened to. Yeah. But I was also a bit of comedian. I like to yeah. be that comedian. So I was like, writing amongst it. And I just... All hell broke loose, really. I didn't have any rules. I'd go, right, do what you want. I do, you ever, do you ever have any managers on you to be like, right, Jimmy, like, wind it in now. We want less of that. We want more of your football. Do you know like what? Me. It's a good question. I mean, looking back, I, I do ask myself, not really. No. I don't know whether, because I produced, in every club I went to, I produced. Yeah. I made sure football was my first. Even though all that like I just said, football was still my first. Remember what you are, Jim, you're a footballer. Don't be a fucking Yeah, yeah, div. yeah, of course. Fuck all that up to be a comic. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm a footballer and I always produce. And I always, that's the only pressure I had on myself. Make sure, because even though you're in a team environment, there's 20 players in a team, right? There's five or six of them want your shirt, mate. Yeah. It's ruthless though, right? I bet it is. So just make sure you um produce first and then be the comedy, do the comedy after. Yeah, yeah. And let your game do the talking. Let the game and by the way, you've got to let your game do the talking because there's no nothing you can never cheat your peers. Was you an art trainer? Oh, mate, there's no one worked hard. Well that's it. Really? No one worked hard on me. But not that is not just it though. To sorry to be ruthless. No, no, it's not at all. But what's to go with that produce at three o'clock? I yeah. learned that a long time ago because you can be the best trainer in the world, right? If you don't produce at three o'clock because your peers are measure on that, your fans are measure on that, and more important, your manager are measure on that. So I was big on like the peers, and I mean my own players. They're the first ones that you can't lie to. They're the first ones that will pull you up. Jim, you're not at it today. Pull yourself together. And the higher up you went, the more your peers pulled on you. So that was my first thing. Make sure the boys I'm playing against know my quality. Yeah. And 
They did. Yeah, but surely Every that training, I played against, that training turns oh, into. You're right. When you're there, you're ready to go. You know you've got fucking your stuff. Right, pal. Yeah. The training night. There wasn't not a time I stepped on that training field, and let my joker, if we're going to call it that, overdo my football. Yeah, it was yeah. my football always that was first. first. Always first. Yeah. And then once I was achieving, then I was like, the joker. Yeah, yeah, of course. Once and look, I'm if I'm a manager, the way you are with people yeah. is only going to boost morale in the team. Absolutely. So like you said, now they just let me have it. Yeah, I, I agree with that as well. Team yeah. morale's got to be key. Absolutely. Don't get me wrong. To answer your question, I think there was the odd manager that might have said into their self. It might have got close, but I always used to know how to manage it. I think it's a game of two. I've got to manage the manager and the manager has to manage me. Do you get mm. what I mean? It's no good me being this loose cannon. Look how it's going to be like. Yeah. And the other players, you've got to have respect for other players and you're in a team environment. So as a football player, that's another box you've got to tick as a player. Understand what other players want around you. You're in a team. Can't just be a loose cannon on your own. Mm. Not me. How, how difficult is it? Is obviously you come from non-league, and I mean you can just you can think about some some great English players that come from non-league. Jamie Vardy, Ian Wright. I always think to myself, how on earth do you make that? How do you make that jump from non-league to eventually pl playing in the Prem? To answer your question, I don't know. And I and still... do you feel like there's a lot of players that probably are in non-league now? You think, given half a chance, they could mix it with the big boys? You know. Yeah, to, to answer your first question, I don't know what it... I think it's happening less and less now. Yeah. I think they come up, I think they grab you at an early stage and football's so good now, the the, the level of it. You've got to be so good these you, days. That's what I mean, so to, especially to go in the Premier League. It's still, I, I think it's still happen, you know, especially if there's a young kid doing well in non-league, they're going to get taken. I think that would still happen. But what's your second question? What was it? I've lost the plot here. Um, and... Yeah, do you think there's a lot of people that are in non-league now that you see that you think... Oh, and good enough. Well, I managed at Leverhead for a year. Yeah. And the first... People said to me, they go, they went to me, um, you'll get frustrated with the level. Mm. Nah, it was the other way. Nah. I was impressed with the level. Was you really? Really? I was like, shit, these, mate, f a few of them, don't get me wrong, a few of them were shit. But a, few, <laughs> a, few, a few of them were like... I'm only joking, boys. I love every single yeah, one yeah, of these. Yeah. A few of them were really good to a point where I'd grab them and go, you know, you can play league football. Yeah. Like, there's league players, but there's always a reason for that. They didn't apply themselves, or yeah. they're late, or they love don't love it up. as much, or they love a booze yeah. up, or they just can't see that final bit, or they don't graft as much as they can. There's always that little bit that I yeah. thought, that's why you yeah. can't do it. But yeah, I, do I believe there's non-league players? Absolutely. And I also believe there's players out there in first, second division that, don't deserve to be there. That's just the that's, roll that, of the that's dice. That's the question right? I was going to ask you. There's got to be a lot of players in the Prem, half nicking a living, floating along, and yeah. it's just like touch these geezers yeah. have had, picking up them big wages. I'm not sure nice. in the Prem. Maybe not I think in the you, Prem. I think the higher you go, I think the harder it is I to think, find. I think, that, I think that. But I think, but to, yeah, but I think you get found out anyway. I think in, um, over yeah, time. Yeah. I think it's too hard. I think you've got too many people uh, judging you. Yeah. Fans, and too many staff, other players who want, like board, you said, want your shirt. Peers, yeah. I just think it's too hard. So I think you end up where you end up for a reason. Yeah, yeah. In the long run, I think the long game. Your long yeah. game, you end up where you end up anyway. Yeah, you put the effort. In. If you're good enough and quite, look, look at you. There's only one reason for that. If I was to ask you, I know what it is: drive. Yeah. Termination. Oh, 100 percent. And quality, because you only get judged what you do on a stage. Continuity anyway. and all. Yeah, we don't yeah, stop. Yeah. Continuity. Yeah. So it's the same. I don't think it's footy. I think it's in life. I think. That's, Same yeah, in everything. That's spot on. Yeah. That leather head, you managed oh, there for deep, a season. Isn't it? Ain't it? Fuck me. Should we oh, get a little bit of Life skills, idea? everyone. Yeah, life, yeah. <laughs> life skills. We've we got Jimmy on for a laugh and he's... Uh... <laughs> right, see us out, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but leather head was when... Uh, was yeah. that when you played Billericke? Yes. Oh, so how funny was that? That was, was so, so funny. Good. Yeah, I loved it. I so a bit of context for people that don't know what we're talking about. Glenn Sampling used to own Billericay Town and he, before every game they would sing World Greatest wouldn't they? Oh, and mate. others. Used to, be yeah, my he was used to be my governor Jim. Used to work for him back in the day. Did you really? Yeah. What was he like? Mate. Lunatic. I've spoke about it on the podcast. <laughs> Have you really? I told a story. I'll, I'll repeat it. My job interview with him right? is fucking pucker. <laughs> Sorry to the listeners who have heard this before. Right? Doesn't matter. So I fucking... He's like, Chris, he's coming here, son. So I was doing like a car valeting, mobile car valeting. Yeah. I started doing all these motors. He's like, come see me, yeah? Because I was doing a nice job. Saw I was half switched on, whatever. He's like, come see me. So he's like, Chris, you sit down. I'm tampling. You beat me, I'm tampling. Right. Look, son, we you take your missus out, yeah? If you want to order a bottle of Cristal instead of a bottle of bubbly moe, you come work for me, son. 
and I was like 18, like, oh yeah, fucking want a bit of that, mate. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, sweet. <laughs> Started me on fucking 10 grand, yeah. I was a minute late three times, he fucked me off. Did, did, did <laughs> Ended he? Ended up going to Thailand school. Ruthless, man. Ruthless. Fucking ruthless. Yeah. Sold he, me the dream, Jim. Did he? Sold me the dream. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. But I, I always said he was great for non-league football. Oh, oh mate, he's done yeah, wonders yeah, for yeah. Billericay. Like, yeah. And the infrastructure at Billericay Town now. Yeah, the right go. go. Um, a great ground. And, yeah, yeah. and really, that's his legacy, really. No, he had a good team as well, without a shadow oh, of a doubt. Oh, great team. Like, Mark, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't put Mark White in his category. But Mark White, the same at Dawkins, doing great things for non-league football. You need the character. I don't know if you've seen yeah. him, but just a big character. You need that. You need people. If you're going to bring on non-league football, you need people not frightened of the camera, get in front yeah. of it and yeah. get yeah. it well, out look, Mark, we're a big fan of Mark White Stuff they're doing a bunch of amateurs is like, massive yeah, yeah. Li- have you seen the bit when he's in the changing room <laughs> <laughs> the blo- no Mark White and the blo- boys there with bandages and the gaffer walks in he goes you alright the bloke goes yeah, yeah, he's got all bandages on his feet. He goes, you don't look all fucking right. <laughs> looks like you've been in a fucking fire. He looks at the medical bloke, he goes, you've been around again. Is he all right? <laughs> oh, mate, that is the best clip. I'm just there crying. I'd love to have been a fly on the wall in that. His head just completely goes under this bloke. And the boy's full of bandages after it's yeah, like a mummy. Sure and the gaffer just peppering him. <laughs> I don't look all right. And he's just on him. But you've yeah, been around, but, is he all right? so fucking good. All these bits, yeah. I love I love watching him for that. Literally. Little bits, them little. Um, he ain't frightened of giving his honest opinion in front of camera. I love it. Yeah, how are you feeling but about when, Wrexham? 